It's the same old story, England have had their chances. And we haven't taken any of them. Was it a good game? This is for the neutrals. Are they friends of Europe? Or have you turned off? Is it just the English and Russian fans watching this game? Oh dear. Let's start with Russia. Well, if you've been watching it, Russia look disorganised. They're not at the races. They are there for the taking. But being in England, we can't take them. We're not taking our chances. Lalana has had two really decent chances. One was straight at the keeper. And the other was scuffed his third goal and he scuffed it. You know? Ali had a good chance, but the ball was twice played to him. Too close to him to do anything with it. It was easily defended. Um, Harry Kane was put through by Lallana, Ivo Lallana must see he's offside and he plays the ball to him there. And Harry Kane puts the ball in there, but it's offside. Harry Kane took two corners and it's definitely certain that Harry Kane is not there to take corners. He should be up front to put the ball in the back of the net. Um, Wayne Rooney had a decent half chance, which was straight at the keeper. Um, I don't know what else to say. We're, we're not... We're not looking great, are we? You can't tell me that first half was a blinding performance from England when you look at what's, what's in front of us. It's Russia. They look so bad. It's a joke. They look terrible. And England can't take advantage of this situation. You know, they've got two defenders. One's going to be 37 at the end of this tournament, and one is 37. So what can England do to change this in the second half? Marcus Rashford or James Vardy, one of them, Come on, for Adam Lalana. Or we could bring on both. You could either take Wayne Rooney off, or you could take Gary Cahill off. This 4 3 3 is not working for some reason. It doesn't look good. I'm not comfortable with this formation. I'm not comfortable with the way England have played. If they were playing a better team with more fighting them, really could be clinical with their passing, which Wales was in their first game, we will be a goal behind. Anyway, that was the first half. But as the saying goes, the second half can only get better for England. Uh, hopefully the substitution will be made. At least bring Adam Lallana off, bring on Jamie Vardy, or Marcus Rashford on, please. Let's hope the second half is a lot better than that first half. Final score, 1-1. One, one. And that's not a good result. Well, if you're Welsh, that's a fantastic result. England are able to create any chances. Two chances. They were offside a lot of the time. Wayne Rooney... Needing more power on his shot, we would have taken the lead, but it was a good save from the Russian keeper. We had a free kick, and Eric Dyer hit a sweet free kick to make it 1 0 to England. England were on top, but didn't really create a lot. And right at the death, Russia score. Even though they never look like they were going to score through Golosky, I think is his name. Very poor result indeed. So what positives can England take out of this game? Absolutely nothing. It's only a point. Wells are going to be hard opposition. Simple as that. 
Don't know why we didn't bring Rashford on. We didn't bring Jamie Farley on. We brought James Milner on. What was the point of that? Don't understand it. England, I oh, don't know. It's looking bad for England. It is looking bad for England. I mean, if Slovakia beat Russia and we lose to Wales, we could be all but out of the tournament. We need to go in the next game and beat Wales, but Wales will fancy this game. As for Russia, they were poor. Absolutely awful. They didn't deserve nothing out of this game. But one lapse in... Really, we gave them the goal. You've got to say we gave them the goal. Smalling out jumped. And we switched off. And it was 1-1. One, one. And the irony of Eric Dyer scoring the opener for uh, England, that could have been the equalising goal. Because he nearly, nearly scored the opener for Russia. Joel having to make a save. That's it. We start the tournament 1-1. And whatever the commentators were saying that it was a brilliant performance from England. We were unlucky. Forget about it. This is a, a team we should have hammered into the ground. Russia looked awful. They, they looked very dodgy in defence. They looked... They were a broken down engine in midfield. And up front they had nothing. And England, again, they don't take their chances. They didn't create enough chances. I think that's the end of the video. Anyway, it's England, ain't it? Did we expect to win this tournament? Well, I didn't. Overall, England now will be... Uh, uh, it looked at one point the second man was guaranteed, but at this moment in time it looks dodgy. England and Russia, well, all I can say is both teams can only play better. <laughs> Let's face facts. Anyway, thank you for watching the video. That's my reaction. Leave those comments below. Tell me how you thought England played. Or if you're Russian, tell me how you thought your team played. Did Russia have anything positive to take out of that game? Did you? Leave your comments below. As I said, thumbs up or thumbs down, up to you. I'll say good night. See you later.